understand the Leo woman. So the Leo woman is very feminine, attractive, uh, intelligent. The Leo man and the Leo woman are more observant than what they are given credit for or what they even let on, right? Um, people don't necessarily think the Leo woman or the Leo man as being uh, uh, very scientific, but you have to remember they're the exact opposite sign of Aquarius. And Aquarius is the zodiac sign of science. So, so um, they may not even necessarily even uh, put an emphasis on their knowledge on their observation of detail, right? They will appear as disinterested a lot of the times, or you Leo, you Leo women will appear as disinterested. But that's not necessarily the case. You may be, you, the, the Leo woman may be offended by something that you've done or you've, you've said. Remember, they're right after, I'm putting my cards away. Remember, they're right after if you're going clockwise, they're right after cancer. And if cancer gets upset, they're not necessarily going to tell you that they are upset. They'll just keep it to themselves. Leo is the same way. They can, because see, it starts in cancer, but it reaches a point or very uh, a zenith or a very high point in Leo. If a Leo feel, if a Leo is disrespected by you, right? Whether it's real or falsely perceived, they will end up kind of dismissing you, okay? Now, the Leo woman, she often gets a terrible rep for not being um, observant and having the ability to learn from her mistakes, and to observe things and make very good decisions. But it's not true that she is ignoring everything. That's not true. The Leo woman does care about things. She does care. She cares about a lot of different things and a lot of different people. But the Leo woman has to put on an act like she is unbothered. And because of this, what a lot of people don't seem to understand about the Leo woman is she's very sensitive. She is very sensitive. Yes, she is. She's very sensitive. Yes, she is. Yes, y'all are. It's just that the Leo woman has an understanding that the world that we are living in, just like Gemini, there has to have a certain mask. According to her, there has to have a certain mask that comes with existing in the world because people will take advantage of your compassion and your kindness for weakness. So as a result of this, Leo is one of the zodiac signs of jealousy along with Scorpio. And the reason for that, the reason for that is because Leo represents the sign of celebrity. Leo represents the sign of celebrity. Leo will know a lot of people. I know this because I have Leo in my chart. I have Leo in my chart in three places, Venus, Mercury, and Jupiter. So, and I have Aquarius, so in my chart. So that means I know a lot of people. This is very true, I know a lot of people, business owners, Millionaires at one point, millionaires on speed dial calling me to ask me for my for my advice on certain things. Serious, and I have witnesses that will back that up. Serious business. And because people see that about you, Leos, you get attention, right? Your so-called friends can end up being your enemies, right? And this is the dynamic or the axis of Leo Aquarius. Leo represents jealousy, right? That is inspired, right? From 
your success. And as a result of that, that can be a situation where it, it starts in Leo, but it culminates in Virgo, which is another aspect of, of uh, jealousy, right? So it's Leo, Virgo, Scorpio, and even Libra, okay? Inspires jealousy, right? And Aquarius inspires jealousy. It reaches it 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 reaches up. It starts in Leo. Jealousy starts in Leo, but it culminates or it reaches a very zenith or a very high point in Aquarius. Okay, so from Leo all the way to Aquarius, you have pretty much jealousy. Okay, so let's just say Leo all the way through Aquarius. Okay, and the reason for that is because you Leos don't seem to understand that your so-called friends who don't put in, who don't have skin in the game, who don't put in blood, sweat, and tears, who don't legitimately tell you they have their back, that they have your back, and then exhibit or show in action that they have your back is a problem. And the reason why it's a problem is because they're, they're jealous of you, low key. So you Leos have to, just like I said in the How to Understand a Leo Man video, you Leos have to create a system for you where you have created a family dynamic, which is coming from cancer, a family dynamic where, and a business dynamic where you are getting all of your needs, all of your needs met, financial needs, friendship needs, family needs, emotion, your, your feelings needs, right? Your physical needs met from people whom you know you can trust. Here's the situation with Leo though. And this regulates whether it's the Leo man or the Leo woman. The situation with the Leo is because Leo can represent narcissism, if it's taken to a dangerous point, I, I explain why Leo is narcissistic and how to understand the Leo man. Go check that out. Because Leo can be narcissistic, diagnosed or undiagnosed, Leo can end up treating people like trash. Very disrespectful, off-putting, very, you know, very uh, scathing. And the reason for that is because Leo is exhibiting or putting on an act. The very same thing that you Leos felt. I'm going to be doing that while I'm saying, while I'm addressing you directly and indirectly. Don't trip. <laughs> Don't take it personally. You Leos will exhibit to other people and demonstrate to other people the type of narcissistic abuse that you receive from your family and friends growing up at a very young age or ignoring you from a very young age. Here's the problem, right? Because your family has done it to you, your so-called friends, the jealous ones from the past done it to you at a very young age, and it imprinted on you. And it really hurts you because you're so sensitive, as I said before, but you just don't like to admit it. You will demonstrate that to other people. And see, this is where the Leo woman and the Leo man can end up really getting themselves in the situation because people want to rock with you. Because I've I've known, it's getting to a point with me where I've known many a Leos. I've known many a Leos, but they ignore and they joke things that are serious they joke about and they ignore when you're trying to set up some sort of bridge when you're trying to build a bridge when someone is trying to because i'm a virgo when someone is trying to build a bridge with you leos you will ignore that you will even sometimes talk bad to this person or about this person and this is what creates that sadomasochistic dynamic right? With Leos, with Virgos, with Scorpios, right? Because 
with Capricorns, with Aquarians, because it begins in Leo. And the reason why is because, like I said, you're, you're, you're passing down that abuse that you've received to other people. You're demonstrating it because you really want to make sure that the person is there for you even when you get a little bit rough with them. Here's the situation though, my dear Leos. Here's the situation. The situation with that is that is not something that you can count on. It's a dysfunctional way of thinking because if you have people who are really going to honestly be there for you, you cannot abuse them because you will have a full-blown mutiny on your hands. You treat the people who are kind to you with kindness in return, and you treat your enemies like trash, and you bash your enemies, and you forget your enemies. You got it crisscrossed. So this is how to understand the Leo woman. Beautiful. Jennifer Lawrence, beautiful. You know, the woman who played uh, on the, the show um, Arrow, right? Uh, Arrow's uh, wife from the show, beautiful, very attractive, attractive, very beautiful. Um, bubbly personality, joy to be around, but can, can, but can be a little bit of an acquired taste, you know? So that's how to understand a Leo woman.